The first thing we need to do is to get the um, drawing done. So the drawing is the, um, it really, this is the best information I can give you probably in this whole lesson, I reckon. Um, to start with a shape like that, and then to get the um, drawing of that thing onto there really quickly and easily, you've got to start with the most basic shapes that you can see. So I'm going to start, I've got two copies of the photo, and I'm going to start by drawing over the top. I'll just set my paper aside. I'm going to draw over the top to show you where the basic shapes are. So um, can anyone, when you're looking at this thing, I might just fold it in half to get some of the distractions out of the way. When you're looking at this dog, if you had to draw really, really simple shapes, um, what would you what would you draw? I reckon it's a combination of circles, eggs, triangles, and there's no squares. Have a look at the photo for a second yourself and see if you can find some basic circles in there to start with. The, the biggest possible circles you can see. Can anyone see shapes? Already? Well, the head. <coughs> yeah. So what you want to do is switch off your, this is where your modern mind and Zen mind comes in. Um, your modern mind will say, this is a dog, it's got a head and it's got a body. But that's not what we see here. What we've got is this big elongated sausage shape. Yep. And I'm looking for strong areas where I can see a circle. So. This is what I thought, because you've got to keep it as simple as you possibly can at the very beginning. So we don't worry about any details. So I'm going to draw a circle. It's sort of actually an egg shape. Can you see this circle here? In order to get this, to get the size of the whole thing right, I actually drew a second circle down here. It's sort of like the same circle but on its side, really. So if you start with those two circles, can you, I'll show you close up. Can you see those two circles? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you start with those two circles, you'll get the proportions of the dog right straight off the bat. So remember we talk about getting the shapes right. So um, in the Three em Emperors chapter, we talk about getting the shapes right first. You've got to get the shapes right. That's the most important thing. After that, you start thinking about tone and colour is the least important thing. So we start off, we've got to get these shapes right or even though it's a loose painting, it won't look any good if the basic shapes are wrong. So this is why I'm emphasising this. I know you're all itching to get your hands on the brush and on the colour. Um, this is the most important thing. So the first thing we're going to do on here is decide how big our dog's going to be and then draw. I want you to have a smaller sheet of paper. This is not a full A4 sheet. Here it is against the book. It's kind of it's a bit bigger than A5, this sheet that I've got. If you're dealing, if you've got a large sheet of paper that's um, a full A4 size, either bring it in so that you leave a gap around the edges or cut it in half. So the smaller you paint, the more beautiful a painting you'll get. So can you see against my hand how big this painting is? It's only just kind of the size of my hand. So don't try and paint too big. So this is the first step, to draw the two circles how big you want them to be. Now the top circle is quite circular, the bottom one's a little bit eggy. It goes up to the side a bit, it's a bit sort of squashed. So I want you to draw those two circles. Uh, this way up. <laughs> so that's what I've drawn on the paper. The next thing I'm going to look at on this photo is I can see there's another, um, there is another circle that kind of runs around here, isn't there? It's sort of overlapping. 
That's a fairly clear one. It sort of divides everything into quarters. If I draw this circle going up through his little mouth, can you see that? It sort of divides it really evenly into quarters, doesn't it? Yes, does. So that means that I can just go halfway here, halfway here, and draw another circle that goes here and here. Because it's a pretty straight line running down the sides, isn't it? Straight-ish. So I'll do a circle that goes through there. And there's our corgi! <laughs> Three circles, and it kind of roughly divides it into quarters. So that's good. We've got our proportions are set really well.